you've just been ghosted. But worse yet, it's by somebody you know. Out of all the people to do this to you, this is one of the last people you would suspect because you've actually been involved with them. How do we even put this into perspective? Hey everyone, Susan Winter here. Welcome to my channel. My fabulous, wonderful subscribers that come here every week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting me. And to all of you followers who come to my live show every Thursday, I adore you. We are continuing this discussion because we did have a live show on this, but I need to go over this one more time. Ghosting, <laughs> quite unfortunately, has now become fairly normalized but it isn't that we accepted it, but we just understand that it is, yes? But it was isolated pretty much to online dating and people that we don't know that well. You know, people that would chat you up online and start the ball going and you think you had something going and then they just fall by the wayside. Or somebody that you barely knew didn't really know them. You'd have a one-time date and it was great and they're texting you before the date and texting you and then just boom, stops. But these weren't really like your neighbors or in your social circle. And they certainly weren't somebody you'd had a relationship with. But now, ghosting, quite sadly, has morphed from being very bad dating behavior that was isolated to the online experience with anonymous partners to now mainstream as far as, you know, I'm not feeling it or something happened or I want to go back with my ex or gee, you're way too nice and I don't feel good about myself with you because you may be able to hurt me and I don't want to go through that. So instead of telling you, I'm just going to not say anything. Now here's the thing about when they ghost you. When they first ghost you, and you know them, right? And you've been involved. First, you're in shock because you can't believe they did it. And you, you wonder if it is what you think it is. So you give it a little more time. Okay, you trust the relationship. You, it's all cool. Everything's got to be good, right? Then time passes. It's like, okay, this is day two. This is weird. Now you're starting to feel irritated. You're at the point that you're fighting yourself. Do I text them? Do I unleash on them? Do I sit back and see what's going on? What do I do here? At some point, you will probably choose to text them just because it's so abnormal for who this person is to you. And you're probably pretty angry. But you can text them. Maybe you're going to start off nice. I'm like, are you okay? This is really weird. I haven't heard from you. Here's the worst thing. You don't hear back from that text. What do you do? Okay, there are a number of things you can do, but here's the first thing. The fact that they did not respond back. No, it's not the Sex and the City show where Miranda calls and yells at this guy and a woman answers because she's been ghosted. And it was a classic show. And um, it turns out that she's talking to the guy's mother and he's dead. That's a reason to ghost. But short of that, no. Okay, so now you know that they purposefully disrespected you. They didn't give you any information and that you had them in a position where they know better and they know you well enough that they owed it to you as a human courtesy. What do you do? Depending upon your personality and depending upon how you want to handle it, this is a perfect time to call them out. I suggest doing it in a specific way. If you're angry and you're really livid, I know it feels good, but it may not get the effect across. I would be very together, very specific in what you say, very concise, and shoot those things like a laser. It's disrespectful. You didn't expect it from them. You respected them and now you have no longer any kind of respect for them. And you really have to hit them where it hurts. The Susan thing about this is I always look for how they esteem themselves. If they think that they're a really respectable person in the world, you gotta say, wow, totally in defiance of who you present yourself to be. How sad is that? If they consider themselves to be professional, 
it's unprofessional. They consider themselves to be generous, it is selfish. Either way, it's cruel, and it's just that they didn't want to deal with it. And here's the thing about it. If they don't text you back or contact you within an hour, two hours, or at least a day from the time that you've reached out, understand this. Every day that passed that they didn't respond to you and they didn't reach out, that they broke their pattern, they knew it. The more time that passed, the more uncomfortable they were because now they can't come back to you because if they came back to you, not only do they have to explain why they ghosted you, but they have to apologize for knowing that they ghosted you. Okay? So it just gets compacted. All you're looking for is the answer, and the answer is the resolution. I suggest reaching out once. Are you okay? Unless they've been abusive, unless they've been horrible, then they are what they are and it's over. Okay? I don't know what happened before that. This is just in general terms. I do that just because then I'm clear on my end. Okay. If you had something, because I know you're probably spending hours ruminating about this, going over it in your head, like replaying every single moment. Did I do this? Did I say that? Was I too much of this? Was I too much of that? None of that matters. They did it because they just, I don't know, they didn't want to deal with you. It just shows, it shows their inability to be a partner for you. That's what's important to remember, okay? So, you acknowledge it, and you know that they cannot be a partner. You can't take it personally. It's their deficit. It is not yours. And then, after you've had your say, you can cut all ties, block them, do whatever you need to do, okay? But it's over. No answer. If you get no answer to your text, that's an answer. Okay? Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And if you want to know more about dating games, I have a really cool app for you. Take a look at the Dating Games Guide. Information is underneath this in the description. My 10 best hours that you can access within seconds. Put it in your back pocket on the Retrieve Library app. All your stuff is there a push, a pull, a manipulation, a con, a trick, a seduction technique, not only what it is, but your next move. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net, and if you want to work with me, take a look at the consultation page. Thanks a lot.